half-hearted. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> what a pleasure to be back. Remember me? I used to host a little you know, kitchen table comedy show from my kitchen, and I'm real gay and silly, and we loved each other. <laughs> Should we just stare into each other's eyes for a minute? Because this feels good. Doesn't this feel good? Remember I got all your comments saying like, hey, bring the show back, and it's a pretty good impression of you, too, because I feel like that's exactly what you sound like. Hey, Liz, bring the show back. Hey, I miss you, Liz. All my fans are Muppets. Um, <laughs> So since we last met five years ago, a lot has happened. For like example times, <laughs> Maria Bello came out. Ooh. Yeah. The top stars. Yeah, Ellen Page came out. Yeah. Yes. Also, Jennifer Lawrence is still straight. <laughs> <laughs> but we live in hope <laughs> because she has not met me. <laughs> we have not had a chance to get to know each other. Would she do the show? You think? You think we can get her? No. Okay. <laughs> also, in the last five years, I have gotten some jobs. <laughs> People have hired me to do stuff for them, and it's so cool. I got to work on Two Broke Girls. I got to write on the Oscars. I've opened a car wash. <laughs> it's called Let's Me Wash Your Car. <laughs> <laughs> and probably the biggest of all, I got to create a show called One Big Happy for NBC. <laughs> That's a real network, I think. <laughs> the show is uh, really close to my heart because it's based on my relationship uh, with my lifelong best friend, Jason. That's him. Yeah. That's him. In the show, it is just a woman and an arm. So <laughs> it's a little bit abstract for NBC. I'm glad they took a risk. Thank you, NBC. Thank you. It stars Alicia Cuthbert, who is so amazing, so beautiful, so talented and hilarious, and she plays a lesbian. <laughs> How cool is that? A lesbian on primetime TV. It's the first lesbian lead on a sitcom since Ellen in 1997. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I'm not good at math, but that's 40 years. <laughs> so it is time. Here's the thing. Ellen is the executive producer. <laughs> So what I'm saying is, I tricked everybody. <laughs> Somehow, I have a show that's gonna be on TV produced by Ellen. I would have been happy if I had a show at a CVS produced by Helen, who is the night manager at my CVS. <laughs> She's a real eye for comedy. Her other eye, lazy in the most adorable way. <laughs> The truth is, I, I really did. I poured my heart and soul into One Big Happy, and there's lots of funny words in there, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. It premieres March 17th, 9.30, 8.30 Central on NBC, and uh, I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. Yeah. But one more amazing thing that's happened in the last five years is that gay people can now legally get married in this country. Yeah. How is that? And you know me, I'm a crazy patriot, so I got married. <laughs> yes, I did. I got married to a beautiful, wonderful, talented, lovely, amazing person I love her so much. And you want to hear something really cute? You want to hear something really super, super, super cute? Yeah. I met her doing this show. Aww. It's true. It's true. I met Rachel Cantu doing this very show. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is, Inviting lesbians into my kitchen and hitting on them really worked out. <laughs> <laughs> really worked out for me. It's, a, it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, honestly. It's the, she's the greatest thing since Blazers. <laughs> she really is. The thing is, I used to have this interview style when I did the show in the past. People called it candid, surprising, dirty old mannish, <laughs> <laughs> pervy even. And uh, I know I'm married now and I'm doing the show again, and I just want to assure everybody out there I'm going to do it the same damn way. <laughs> Rachel has given me her blessing, and I have given her a buzzer. So that if she ever feels I've crossed the line with any of my guests, all she needs to do is that. <laughs> and I will immediately remove my hands from said breasts. <laughs> that is the way I greet people on the show. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> Welcome to the show! <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? It's really good to see you. <laughs> because she's funny even when she just has a buzzer. Oh, you guys, she's great. Oh. <laughs> we have a great
great show for you today. We really do. Fresh off her show, Stealing Performance at the Oscars, Sarah Quinn is here. <laughs> I mean, I have interviewed Tegan and Sarah, and I have interviewed Tegan, but I have never just interviewed Sarah, so I got a lot of pent up questions to ask her. <laughs> really excited for her to be here. But first, a word about our sponsor. Today's episode of This Just Out is brought to you by Vajamas. <laughs> They're pajamas for your vaginas. <laughs> because sometimes it's just too warm to wear full length pants to bed. You, sometimes you just want to cover up your little tiny parts with your tiny little thing parts. <laughs> so try new vajamas. <laughs> and for those cold winter nights, vajamas with feet. Yeah. <laughs> We're back, baby. <laughs> And now let's welcome my side geek and my best lads, Remy Rosendorf! <laughs> you got, you got, <laughs> uh, <gasps> Buddy! Oh my god! You yeah. left these in the car. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! just go like that. How's that? Is that nice? Does that look nice? That's nice. Oh, yeah. I got my gay swords. Oh, and I got my gay friend. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. Look at this. I know, look at all this, this right? Is, this is good. Thanks, man. I like it. My God, it's been five years. How have you been? I've been really good. Yeah, I've been really good. I know. Yeah, just doing stuff and living life and yeah, yeah. we really should have kept in touch. We should have. <laughs> yeah. That's a well, what happened? That's a real that's a real kind of up on our just part. been following you on Facebook. No, <laughs> you guys were kidding. Totally she was kidding. in my wedding. She sleeps over sometimes. And then the other time. than that, we just hang out all of the other other times. <laughs> always are hanging out. With always each other. hanging out. Yeah, she's uh, my best les. You know what I'm saying? I'm the BL. You're the BL for the the BL for the L fell. <laughs> if you wanted to start calling me that, I would be fine with that. <laughs> You can call me Elfell, you can call me lesbian. You We're know. all lesbians. Yeah, especially <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> so, uh, who do you got for us today? I have the lovely and talented Colleen Green. Ooh. This album is called I Want to Grow Up. And is this some sort of novelty giant CD? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is called a, an album. Is this called a, a record or an album? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Sometimes it's called an LP because it is a long playing record. Oh, yeah. is that what that stands for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't know that. I didn't know that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So the great thing about albums these days is that you get a digital download with this. So if oh, you cool. buy the album, you actually get it on your iTunes too. So this album was recorded over 10 days in Nashville with members of Jeff the Brotherhood and Diarrhea Planet. Sorry? Yeah. There is a band named Diarrhea Planet, and they're pretty good. Wait, just hold on. You're saying Diarrhea Planet. It's true. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So just a, just a, is, it a, is it the planet made of diarrhea, or does everybody on the planet have diarrhea? <laughs> well, you know, yeah, I think they're interchangeable in, the, in, in, this, in this, the world that they've created for us. I don't want to live there. Yeah, I don't want to live there. <laughs> Yeah, I just, okay. I, yeah. And you said that like one of the people is from Diarrhea Planet. <laughs> like that was the thing I was going to go, oh, well. People will know what this is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Diarrhea Planet, obviously. Um, no, this is this is a great album. Um, this is her third studio album. It's out on Hardly Art, which is an imprint of Sub Pop. Heard of it? Um, think, uh, think, do you remember Veruca Salt? Sure. Do you remember the Muffs? Yeah. What? Yep, the Muffs. <laughs> <laughs> There was a band called The Muffs? I honestly, if this album was out when I was in college, this would have been like, I would have watched her in my dorm room on 120 minutes. Which... Is that a thing? That's a thing, that's a thing. <laughs> if you get the opportunity, please buy tickets to the show, buy the album, buy the merch, because musicians these days, they don't get money from you listening on Spotify. That's if you true. love the album on Spotify, sample it, and then go out and buy the record. Yes, yeah. that's a great thing. Yeah. 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 I'm so excited for our first guest of our first show back in five years. Please welcome one of the two coolest lesbians who performed on the Oscars from Tegan and Sarah, or as I like to call them, Sarah and Tegan. <laughs> Please welcome my friend, Sarah Quinn. Sarah Quinn. It's Sarah Quinn. This is 
sort of, sort of stumbled. So. Yep. Do you want to take it again? Or yeah, no, like... I feel like that was real. Yeah. <laughs> it is so great to have you on my first episode back. Thank you so much for being here. I'm delighted. I'm delighted. Me more than you. Really? <laughs> I don't think that's physically possible. <laughs> oh, God, it's been a huge week for you. First the Oscars, now this. Why would you agree to do this? I just love your show. I'm a big fan. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seriously? And we're friends, and you asked me to, and I, how was I going to say no to your face? That's true. That's true. <laughs> had, I, had I emailed you, you would have just been I like, I would have been oh. like, who dis? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Now, I met you the first time I interviewed you on this show. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you had never seen the show. I don't think so. Right. But have you seen it now? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you just saying that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen the show. It's weird because I don't have a lot of memories of doing the show, though. You don't? Mm -mm. But you know that you did it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I knew Tegan first. I went in birth order, as is the tradition when befriending twins. Um, and, uh, but, but then we got to share the Oscar experience together, and I feel like, uh, you know, now you live in L.A., and I feel like we've actually become pretty close. I feel close to you. Yeah, right? Like, on a scale, of like one to ten, mm -hmm. um, let's each say at the same time how close we feel as friends. Okay? <laughs> so just okay. on the count of three, I'll just use how close you feel to me as a friend. One, two, three, Seven infinity. Seven point eight. <laughs> Seven point eight, really? I have low self-esteem. I needed to leave. So. I needed to leave room for us to get closer. Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. Yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Let's talk about the Oscar experience. That was amazing uh, to be there. Um, I was a writer on the show. You performed. You stole the show. Please don't tell Neil Patrick Harris I said that. <laughs> you were so nice to us because we were so nervous. And the f when we did the first run through at the Dolby, you sat front center with my mom, which was amazing. And you and you sent a picture of us, oh no, of you guys with your mom, of yeah, you actually, and my mom and uh, Tegan's girlfriend. Yeah, and, and I have that like, picture actually. There it is. Yeah, and, and, and then you told me my mom cried and she had never cried. She doesn't even have tear ducts, it's weird. <laughs> and then you and then you were there and you're like, your mom cried. And I was like, thank God you were there to take a picture. It was really, really sweet actually. I, I was there, <laughs> I was sitting in the front row uh, with Sonia, mm -hmm. um, who is really pretty. Thanks. Yeah, your mom is straight up foxy. Where is the buzzer? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rachel? Hello. <laughs> Rachel agrees with me, I think. So yeah, is that why she's not bothering it? She's yeah, like, your yeah, mom's straight right. up, straight up hot stuff. Yeah, my but, mom's all right. But it was really sweet. We were sitting in the front row. You guys took the stage for the first time, mm -hmm. and she really did get choked up, and it was incredibly mm -hmm. sweet and moving. She's, you know, watched you guys do incredible things, mm -hmm. but the Oscars is like a whole other. It's cr it was crazy, thing. and I was really glad you were there because I think to know that you were there and you were with my mom and then you were there to also text and say like, you guys are gonna be great. Like you, the night before you were like, this is gonna be a highlight. Like, and I really believed you, I trusted you. So thanks for being a great friend. And 8.2 8. out of 10 now. Woo! Yeah! You guys, I, again, I'm not good at math, but I think I just went up three whole points. <laughs> uh, no, it really was, it really was, um, it really was an incredible experience. And, and what about your nerves? You know, what about yeah. the nerves going into the Oscars? On a scale of one to puke in your pants, <laughs> how nervous were you? I was puking a lot in my pants. Really? <laughs> I was pretty nervous. I, I felt really that. I felt really, really nervous. I can't even imagine. I mean I was nervous, nervous yeah. and I wasn't even performing. But but that must just be just I mean I can't even imagine. It's hard to explain because we do a lot of nerve wracking things, but right. I feel like I've gotten used to them. Like playing in front of an audience is not that stressful to me anymore. Like I'm more nervous to go to someone's house party than I am to like play in front of an audience. Wow. Because I just am so used to it. Right. And there's it's so rare that you do things that are so new and there's no real precedent for them and then there's like a new threshold and then you're actually really nervous again and I was really nervous and it sounds so cheesy but I was actually just really nervous to not do a good job. Like a lot of times I'm like half-assing it, right? Like what? A I mean I half-ass it sometimes. Which one? Like all sometimes <laughs> in general. I have seen you in concert like 47 <laughs> times. Yeah but sometimes you're like doing this thing where you're like I'm giving it my all, but you're not really giving it your all. You're just sort of giving it like half of your all. And but I love um, this. I'm giving it my all. I can but fake it so well you now. You really can. I can. I can fake. I can fake pain, um, happiness. I think that's what serial killers can do, and okay. I can do a lot, all of it now. But um, but this was like real. This was a real thrill. And Tegan did the cutest thing. I've not even said this aloud to anybody. Amazing. You heard it here first. So you know we're behind the curtain. Right. And. There's only maybe been one other time in our career where I have felt 
true like existential like oh my god in 30 seconds a lot of like a lot of the world is gonna see us just including a billion people. Just Jennifer a billion Aniston people. and Oprah and right. I just was like mm-hmm. for a second there's gonna be this like moment where people just realize us they just know we're, we're alive and that's like not an ego thing just like a weird thing yeah and Tegan like I was really nervous and we're standing on the platform and Tegan went like this to me she goes no, not to hold, just, oh. a, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just a high five. Oh, really? Yeah. That's all... She went like this, and then we went like that. And that was like your moment yeah, before that's you what we went? did. That's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. It was pretty cute. That is really cute. Now, a lot of people said you were best dressed on the red carpet. First of all, thank you for creating a new stereotype of the fashionable lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big deal. There were so many comments on our Instagram page like, you're disgusting. This is the worst look I've ever seen. And I was like, Seriously? no one is ever happy. You just keep, no one's ever happy. Like, what, I also want to know what that person was wearing when they wrote that. Thing. You know what? You know, you know that they're sitting at home in, like, stained sweatpants and, like, a t-shirt they got from the bank. You know what would be and outrageous? Like, you're, you're disgusting. How dare you be wearing a gorgeous dress looking the best you've ever looked, you <laughs> I'll bleep all that out. I tomorrow. wish, I, when, sometimes when people Instagram, like on our Instagram say really mean things, it's a bit of a thrill for me to like click on their profile to see what's happening. <laughs> right. So much is always happening. Yes. It's not, it's not like a normal person. It's always someone who has like a Bible and a gun and like a carcass and they're like, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Or like, you know, it's like someone who's outrageously badly dressed and they're like, exactly. your style sucks. Right. And I'm like. Okay, you should be you, yeah. but also your style sucks right. so bad, you can't possibly know if this is good or not. <laughs> also, <laughs> Rachel, would you hide our Bible uh, gun and carcass? <laughs> it does mean a lot to me that you like my outfit, though, because I did feel it was a slight departure from my general thing. It was. You, you, uh, yeah, it really was. Yeah. It was, but you looked fantastic. I mean, you guys, Thanks. how amazing. Did they look on the red carpet? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you feel like I looked good? Yeah, I did. You did? Okay, cool. Okay, good. You just you didn't mention it. So. You look great right now. You you look great. I mean, put it, it wasn't, you, you weren't wearing, you weren't wearing a ball much. gown, but you seemed really like you were dressed up. You were I mean, done up. Nobody actually cares what I wear. Oh. Uh, not one person asked me who I was wearing. In fact, I was asked to promptly leave the red carpet. <laughs> so um, it's a different situation, you know, when you're behind the scenes as opposed to when you're one of the, you know, It stars. wasn't that different for us. Like, um, Will I Am body checked me at one point and I lost my cool a little bit. Really? Yeah, because I was like, there is no need what to push me. What do you mean body checked you? Like, he how? like, well, you know, every, all the press lines up and so then you're all standing next to each other talking to whatever different you know, organization, radio, TV, whatever. And Will I Am just kind of like body checked me to t- get in front of this camera and we talk. And I just was like, Will I Am just, I said loudly, Will I Am just body checked me. And then I was like, Sir, like I kind of like pushed him back. <laughs> and then he turned around and he was like, I'm sorry. And then he hugged me. He did not say, I'm sorry. He did. <laughs> he said, I'm sorry. And then, and then I was like, Oh, your apology is accepted. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You were. I did, and I was like, it's who I am! Like, and then he hugged me. <laughs> they hugged me, and then I was like, okay, you go back to your thing, I'll go back to my thing. Oh, wow, that's, that's quite a story. I'm really excited about your show. What? This one? This one, and also your big uh, debut on NBC. Thank as you very much. Just a bossed up lady who what? wrote and uh, developed a show that I'm excited to watch, and I'm going to watch it and live tweet it. You are? Yes. Because it's like, twi- it's, like, it's, like yeah, it's like a half an hour episode. Imagine I couldn't live tweet that. Like yeah. I mean, come on, it's like it's like three tweet. No, it's like a tweet a minute. That's like twenty three tweets or something like that. Oh my God, you're gonna twenty three tweet I my show? We agreed on the financial background. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Tweets. I'm gonna give you three cents I'm, a tweet. Uh, <laughs> I'm really proud of you, and I'm so Thank excited. You. And now I have a very important question for you. Lay it on me. Will you play Who's Gayer? I would love to. Awesome! (laughs) Okay, so question number one. On the red carpet of the Oscars, did you wear a fancy bejeweled romper, a structured dress with pantyhose, or a well-tailored suit, no jewelry, and loafers? Structured dress. Oh, I wore a suit with no jewelry and loafers. (laughs) So that's one point for me. (laughs) Okay, great. Question number two. Who did you most want to make out with at the Oscars? J-Lo, ScarJo, or Elfell? <laughs> 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 
ScarJo. <laughs> that is the correct answer, and I agree. Mm. <laughs> that haircut was. That was a foxy next haircut. Level. That was next level. She looked great. She looked really good. She could just wear a bag of crap on her head. She, she looked great. She really could. <laughs> she really could. She could just wear like a shower curtain and just a bag of poop on her just head. A diarrhea planet right on her head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, now question number three. What was your first after Oscar meal? Was it vegan chorizo? Was it McDonald's? Or was it a plate of salmon while staring at ScarJo pretending she was that salmon? <laughs> McDonald's. Oh, for me it was a plate of salmon staring at Scarlett <laughs> pretending she was that salmon. So you win. Yeah. So you That's win. two points for me. That's two points for me. <laughs> Question number four. How many softball teams are you on? I'm I'm on zero. Oh, softball teams. I'm on a softball team called the Buzz Sox. <laughs> Get used to it. I do have, I do have a cat. You have a cat? I have a cat. A lot of people have cats. Oh my god. <laughs> Is your cat on a softball team? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, My cat okay. Is all okay. I don't believe you. They're called the little pussies. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the most adorable. Just like a bunch of kittens playing softball. Just L L I L, little pussies. Little pussies. <laughs> little pussies. Question number five: Do you carry a wallet, a purse, or do you just keep your cash in bunches in your vagina? <laughs> <laughs> I carry a wallet. Okay, I carry uh, cashes in bunches in my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> so, just so easy access, you know? That sounds more like criminal than gay. Really? A little bit. Oh, okay, I think you're just a sore loser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the score is six to three, and lucky for you, there's a bonus round that's worth five points. So uh, you still have time to outgame me. I'm gonna outgay you. Oh yeah? Yeah. You're going down. You're going down. <laughs> On who? <laughs> you first and me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm versatile. I'm fine with that. Okay, let's bring him in. <laughs> go, go. All right, thank you. All right, that's perfect. Ma'ams. Okay, okay. So, uh, um, these, <laughs> uh, these are my showgirls. These are consenting. These are consenting, consenting mannequins. mannequins. These are consenting mannequins. Mm -hmm. uh, they are thrilled to be here, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, here's the challenge. Who can remove the bra off this mannequin with one hand the fastest? Okay. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. um, I generally ask the women I'm gonna I turn to do it themselves, but. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I like to show off with my one-handed skills. So I'm going to turn it around. Do we have a timer ready? It doesn't really matter. They're also really, really short. Really <laughs> this is like, is this part of the fantasy? Is that I'm finally dating someone taller, or that's shorter than me? I'm taller than me. Oh, excuse me. Get, Don't cheat. Stop. You're making Don't me. Don't cheat. You stop. said one hand. You stop it. Okay, here we oh, go. You start with the strap approach where you no, take I'm the not, strap off. Not, this is not a seduction. <laughs> okay. This is not a seduction. This is who can take the bra off with one hand, unclasp it fast. Can I, can I look at the, the, what no. we're dealing with? Okay. <laughs> it's a renaissance mission. I just have this to get a, in there and just see what's happening. That's exactly right. Just get to uh, uh, um, Can I get a ready, set, go? Ready, set, go. <laughs> <laughs> Person who's ever beat me on the show? Really? No. You probably practiced and everything. Did you let me win or? Um, no. No. No, not at all. <laughs> I actually really didn't. <laughs> and I feel really embarrassed that I couldn't even. I was like, where is it? <laughs> That's how you know I'm like an old married lady because I'm like, is this a was this a double clap? <laughs> 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 Thanks for having me on Thank your show. Thank you so much. It's Thank a pleasure you. to have you. Let's hear it for Sarah Queen. <laughs> That's our show, Lesbos. I'm thrilled to be back. Uh, please stay in touch with us on Twitter, on Instagram, and we have a Facebook page, because MySpace isn't a thing anymore. <laughs> but I want to say that over the last five years, I've read all your comments, and I've gotten your tweets and your emails, and they mean the world to me. You guys mean as much to me as uh, more famous lesbians mean to you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, next week on the show, Kate Manning is here! Yeah. Just cue vaginas exploding! <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. And until then, I'm Liz Feldman, and you are so gay. <laughs> She's blonde, she's blonde and she's witty. witty. She's gonna take over all of your city. Yo city. So get ready, get ready and you should all get Liz Feldman in the house. Start vlogging. Yeah.